it's a cloudy, crappy day. But at least it's not snowing. <laughs> yeah, the last time I did one of these, it was in the snow, and it was about nine months ago. I haven't done a video since. A lot of you have been asking on Instagram and on the YouTube page, so I thought I'd finally break down and do this for you guys, um, give you an update on what's going on with the truck. Basically, I had a pretty successful YouTube channel for motorcycles, and um, after five years, I kind of got sick of the YouTube thing. And hence why I've been putting up many videos on this channel either. Sold all my cameras, so I'm recording this on a crappy iPhone. Hopefully it'll work in the end. At least it'll give you an update. But I plan on maybe getting back into it and putting out a video every once in a while, so... Let's get started. Uh, the last time, I don't believe I had the custom badges. There they are, front and back. Actually, <laughs> the guy who did these has just completed a new set for me, so these won't be on very long. They'll be replaced within a week, so something for the next update video. So yeah, custom badges since we last spoke. Oh, the new taillights. They're not recons. I'll explain why they're not recons in a minute on the next part of the truck. Uh, I think I had a stripe on the back, or over the whole truck last time the Grim Reaper in it. I took that off actually. Um, the fine detail in it was starting to lift and peel and it was starting to look like crap. So got rid of the stripe on it. Uh, I did add some five inch tailpipes. They're a little dirty now. Try to focus for you. MBRP five inch. It doesn't leave much of a gap here anymore. They're double insulated though, so the heat doesn't affect the bumper. And, you know, it closes up that gap. It looks a, little, a lot nicer, I think. I think that's it. And a tunnel cover. I didn't have that last time. So that's new. I had the tailgate assist, I think, on the last video. I'm pretty sure. There's just a little shock over there that slowly lowers your tailgate instead of it just dropping and banging. Uh, added fender flares, the Bushwhacker pocket style, painted them myself, and I sold the mud flaps that I had on it, the gator backs. I have a really nice set of trigger kickback mud flaps coming next week also, with a little something special in them, in the logo. They'll be pretty cool. Uh, same tires as last time, the Duratrack. Uh, 275, 65, R20s, and the reason I have the same tires, even though I have new rims, is because they were brand new, and I want to wear them out first before switching to 35s. So we're still on a 33-inch tire. Um, the rims are obviously new, fuel throttles, a little bit of that deep dish look. I call them baby deep dishes. Really like them. That little tiny bit of billet. I mean, I I think it just sets the truck off. When I had them plasti dipped or an all black rim, when everything is black, it just be, kind of comes one big blob of darkness and nothing to give it contrast. So I like just a hint. I don't call it chrome, I call it billet. Because I'm not a big fan of chrome. What else is new? Oh, first of all, yeah, we got a limo, limo tint on the back and on the rear windows. It's limoed. On the front, I just went 20%. But overall, the whole truck looks pretty dark. And I added some in-the-channel vent visors instead of the ones that stick on the outside. Much cleaner. These ones are from, are from AVS. And what I like about them is that they don't have the piece that goes along here that you see on some of the other in-the-channel visors. These are even cleaner again. I really like them. Uh, Debadged. I'm not sure if that was done last time. And I got the black Hemi badges for the front instead of the chrome ones. Bushwhacker pocket flares. I painted them myself. Um, the plan is someday, real soon. Um, I guess most of you are familiar with Linex bed lining. Well, there's another company here locally to me that's even better, I think, called Armaguard. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Armaguard the flares and along that body line from there down the whole bottom half of the truck, the flares, 
and also underneath the flares because um, over time dirt and debris does work its way in here and they actually can rust out you know your fenders and stuff so I'm going to armor guard under them and the flares themselves the whole bottom half of the truck along that body line and the front and rear bumper so there will be one continuous piece all the way around that's plans for the future added a stubby antenna I think it's like a three inch metal one reception is still fine just got this today my own um, logo I don't know badge whatever windshield decal a lot of the truck groups do it I thought it'd be kinda cool to have my own personalized one added some hash stripes RT kinda of things without the RT badging for obvious reasons I think they look good not sure how they all come out on camera but they're actually a matte black so it's the black on black thing they're not gray in some of the photographs with the flash and lighting they do look gray sometimes but they're absolutely not it's black on black coming around the front I've added halos in the lights I did that myself I um, baked the headlights in the oven <laughs> pried them apart epoxied the rings and strips on wired it all up and I'll give you a little demonstration of those I'll insert a clip here now they are controlled by a smartphone app which is really cool through Bluetooth um, I just put them on this one setting to show you some of the colors but I think there's like a hundred different variation of colors you can get right now this is just basically the seven color crossfade and uh, just to give you an idea of what they're like if you haven't seen them before but they have all kinds of things they can do they can jump to the music of your favorite song like to the beat um, there's like strobes where they flash really rapidly you can design your own patterns uh, they have some custom patterns in there there's one that I like it's kinda like a cop car it does the red blue flashing um, of course not legal for the streets <laughs> off-road use only um, you can also have it go to the sound of your voice the bass in your voice so when you're speaking the lights will flash kind of thing to whatever you're saying obviously they're not overly great in the daytime like this but at nighttime yeah pretty freaky effect get a lot of nice pictures with them yeah it definitely doesn't look as impressive in the day this is just like one of the functions and of course you can design your own so you could have it flash red blue red blue and then some strobes with red and blue or you could really make it look freaky if you got lots of time on your hands and if I do do the cubes in the fog lights you can get these halos for this fog lights cubes also and you can have it all connected so it's all doing the red blue or whatever color you want might go that route down the road uh, it's not going to be for everybody. I know this is what some of the guys hate. It's too fast and furious or too ricer. Or <laughs> I'm sure I'll get a few comments of people not liking it. But for every two people I meet that are like, meh, I get, you know, 98 people that are like, fucking sick. So all I can say is do what you like to do to your truck. Don't worry about other people's opinions. There you go, that's the halos. I tinted the fog lights. I don't know how easy that is to see on camera. There you go. Tinted out the fog lights. Might add some cubes there soon. Um, I believe in the last video I had white LED lights underneath the bull bar. Now they're amber to go with the amber that's in the turn signals. And I've added amber cab lights. We'll come back to the cab lights in a second. I'm going to kind of end on that. Swapped out the grill for the honeycomb style. You know, it came with the sport slats. I took those out. I think the honeycomb looks way nicer, more aggressive. Might even do a custom grill in it soon. And there's the front badge. And I'll be getting new badges next week. Um, the bull bar was already on it last time, blah, blah, blah. And I think that's about it. Oh, underneath the hood. I don't plan on ever, ever doing much under the hood with this truck. Because it's a truck. Got a motorcycle if I want to go fast, right? 
But I did do one thing, and I think it's the first mod that every Hemi owner should do. And I added a billet technology oil catch can. You're basically, it's, your, it's the blow off from the engine. It's catching that vapor and condenses it and the bit of oil that gets caught up in that vapor and it collects it instead of throwing it back over your engine. And basically every oil change, you just unscrew that. And uh, if it wasn't so hot, I'd unscrew it now. But you just unscrew it, and yeah, every oil change, this thing is basically full. And it saves it from gunking up your engine. Add some extra life to your beast. I think I had the bug deflector last time. And yeah. Okay, so that's about it for this update. Uh, I'll jump in, quickly show you on the inside. I'm not sure if I had this done or not last time. It's daytime, so you can't even tell. I told you about the WeatherTech mats, front and back. I've got some red LEDs underneath. There's some in here, and my cup holders are also done. And it's all done on one switch. So that's kind of convenient. Now, lastly, we'll get back to those cab lights. I've got new ones on the way, and the reason is wah, wah, wah. for the third time now, the cab light has gone out on me. I've done a lot of wiring in my day. They're soldered, they're well done. It was working for the longest time, and it just crapped out. So basically, moisture is getting to these, from my understanding. If all the reading I've been doing online, there's a lot of people who are having complaints with the recon cab lights. They just stop working. Some people get three months, some people get six months, some people get a year. I'm two months. Two months and three lights have now fucked up. And these are not ones that you can just pop open from the top and replace the light. I gotta drop the headliner every time, and I'm sick of it. So these are going in the trash, even though they did look kinda nice. But I've opted to go for the pacers. A lot of people are having better luck with those. And I've heard a few guys who had problems with the recon switch the pacer and haven't had a problem since. I did do it myself. Um, probably the most nerve-wracking mod you can do is <laughs> drilling 15 holes in the roof of a brand new $50,000 plus truck. Uh, yeah, it was a bit nerve-wracking, but... Uh, measure three times and it came out pretty good I think so um, and there's the amber in the bull bar now amber in the bull bar but yeah I do not recommend the recons in any way shape or form um, you know I'm sure there'll be people that have no problems with them like anything but Seriously, two months, three lights, <laughs> and different ones. I bought another pack of these things, just as spares, and I started to go through the spares pretty quick. That um, I was lucky enough, I kept one box anyway, and I was able to return five of them and get half my money back. And with that money, one pack of recons, I was able to buy two packs of the Pacers online. And the pacers are a little more flat. Got well, these are more of like an egg shape. So I think the pacers might even look better. I'll include that in the next update anyway. But yeah, amber is more legal where I live, or it is legal, as opposed to other colors. And then that way I didn't have to buy the switchback turn signals. <laughs> so I got amber, amber, amber. Looks really sharp at night. I'll throw up a picture here now on the screen. And uh, yeah, that's about it for this update. You got any questions on what I've done? Uh, the, the fuel throttles, I guess someone's going to ask. They're 20 by 10 with a negative 12 offset. Just enough to kind of put me flush with the fenders. Right? I don't want to destroy my paint. I wanted them, I don't want tuck tires, but I didn't want them sticking out a mile either, so. I like this look, very happy with it, and uh, the paint faded a lot, as you can tell on this. 
So I'm going to take this off and paint it gloss black. Excuse me, that's about it. The third brake light up top, I tinted it. Yeah, if you got any questions about anything I've done with my truck, leave it in the comments below. Yeah, well, I was almost home when I realized I forgot to show you one of my most important updates. I have the Bilstein 5100 adjustable ride height shocks up front which give the truck an extra 2.75, I think it is, inches, 2.8 inches of level. They're adjustable, so you can set them. On these rings here, I have them maxed out at the 2.8 setting. I think it's 2.1, inch and a half, and an inch or something like that, of the different settings. But once they go in there, they're not adjustable anymore. You actually have to take them out to adjust them. You can't adjust them on the fly, so know what you want before you install them. And I also, which is going to be a little, oh, it's actually showing up pretty well. I have um, the Mevotech upper control arms because these newer Rams 2013 Plus are just known for popping ball joints, whether it's stock or, you know, spacer kits or what, what have you. Some people are popping them even on stock vehicles, so, and it's because they're so fucking flimsy and... I think the, the stock ones are like a stamp steel, these are a forged steel, I think that's the big difference. But anyway, yeah, that's what levels my truck, and I'll show you some good pictures of uh, before and after on the screen, and it really makes a big difference, that extra couple inches. But it doesn't increase the overall height of the truck, so I can still enter my underground parking, which is always nice. The very first video I was asking you not to laugh at my exhaust, and now I have a spin tech. I won't rev it too loud because I'm in a, a very public place, we'll say. Oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you about these. <laughs> I'm forgetting everything. I added the ram to the doors on the inside. And I don't know if you'll see it in the back. I'll have to get out and show you. And in the back we got the 1500. So you got the RAM and the 1500. I reused the emblems inside. I don't know, I'm probably forgetting a couple other things to tell you about, but we'll save that for the next video. Okay, it's goodbye this time, I'm serious.